In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your Xcode project to your iPhone or iPad. These are things that you'd have to do just one time. Once you're set it up initially, then you're good to go for any future apps you try to build. To get started, we do need to make sure that your Apple ID email address is linked with Xcode. To do that, we go to Xcode, Settings, choose Accounts, and then if your email address is not in here already, hit the plus at the bottom left. Make sure Apple ID is selected and hit continue. Then put your email address or phone number. Then continue and put your password in and hit next. Once you do that, you should see your email or phone number there. At that point, we're done with this accounts window. Okay, before we can actually put it on a physical device, we need to make sure that the app is signed. To do that, we need to go up to your root device here, your root app name and choose signing and capabilities and under team make sure you choose your team this will be your personal name or if you have a business name it'll show up there you need to make sure that's done before you can actually export it onto a physical device and once you have it put in your apple id the next thing is to physically hook up your iphone or ipad to your mac with an apple certified usb cable you can try with other ones, but it's always best to use an Apple if possible. The first time you do this, you may get a message on your screen asking you to trust this computer. Make sure you choose trust. And then you'll know if you need to continue with other steps. If you go up to the top here and in the top bar in Xcode, you'll see you click on the little icons next to your project name here. It'll show you a list of devices. If it comes up with your device saying unavailable device, and it'll say like it is not paired with your computer. We then need to go onto your device and enable development mode. To do that, open up the settings app on your phone or iPad, go down to privacy and security, scroll all the way down to where you see developer mode. And if it's off, you want to turn it on. When you hit it on, it'll ask you to restart your device. Go ahead and do that. Once it comes back on, once you uh, put in your passcode, it'll ask you to turn on developer mode again. Hit the red turn on. It'll then ask you to put your password in again. Okay, at that point, you should now see it pop up in, up here with, like it shows here, it won't show that unpaired device anymore. If you select your phone or iPad and hit run, and so the first time you try to run this on a physical device, you may get a message like this one on your screen. It's asking for your MacBook or Mac's login information, not your Apple ID information. You can put your password in and then choose always allow and that won't pop up anymore. And then you may also get a message on your device that says untrusted developer we'll have to hit cancel to clear out of that and then go back into settings app click on general scroll down to where you see vpn and device management okay when you click on that you should see a blue bar there that says trust apple developer and then your email address and click on that and then i get a pop-up saying trust apple developer in your email say trust after that you should see your Whatever app you're trying to put on your device, it'll show the app there and then verify to the right. At that point, come back into Xcode and run it again. And you should now have it on your phone or tablet. Now, if you noticed in Xcode, these have this little world icon. If you are on the same Wi-Fi network, you don't need to have your device physically connected anymore. So you can disconnect it and you'll see the little world icon come up. So just a reminder, this is all just the initial setup. So if you were to come in here and make a whole new app, then you won't need to go through all that initial configuration. One thing to keep in mind though, on a personal account, like one you haven't purchased the license through Apple yet, your app will install onto your device, but it will only work for seven days. After that, you will have to re-download it again or rerun it from Xcode onto your device. So just keep that in mind, once you do or if you do get the Apple developer account a subscription, and then it will always be on there for you. Hopefully that helped with setting up your physical device to test your apps on your phone or tablet. If you have any questions or concern, please leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day.